Hello, Internetians, and welcome back to Hyperspeed. This is where I try to speed run rage games while drinking Hyperspeed. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck is wrong. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna start playing. <laughs> we're just gonna go. One hell of a time. You can only fight him on regular mode. You can't even practice against him. That's interesting. Well, well, well. Look how far you've come. Not only did you bust up my good-for-nothing lackey king dice, but I see you've got my soul contracts as agreed. Hand him over and join my team. Okay! No, bitch. Fuck you. Welching on me just like all the others, eh? I'll teach you for backing out of a deal. How about you? I don't know why he suddenly became a medieval knight, but... Dude. Fuck if I care. We're fighting the final boss, man. We're fighting the devil in this one. Come on! Come on, devil! Show me what you got! Hit me with that shit! Cut to like a four-hour compilation of me getting killed over and over again. <laughs> Okay, I, if I remember this one correctly, um, this first attack is easy, you just have to um, avoid, avoid that, get some hits in here. This one's the hard one, because his timing, you have to be almost perfect uh, with your jump in order to make it over that. Uh, okay, this is not good for me, it's great for him. He's doing great, he's, he's doing marvelously. He's got me down down the ropes and, I, and he's still got like all of his health. Barely touched him. Great start, guys. Here we go. This is gonna be the one, clearly. Clearly, this is gonna be the attempt that wins. Right here. We're gonna do it. <laughs> second try, guys. We beat the devil on the second try. How much... How much money... Would you like to bet... That I will not beat the devil on the second try? Probably all of your money, to be honest. It'd be a, it's a pretty safe bet. It's like million to one odds. You're honestly, you're honestly, you got some good change in that one. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I let him hit me like that. I honestly didn't think he was going to go that close to the side of the screen. I really thought I was going to get away with that. I don't know why I thought that. I should not have thought that. But I thought that nonetheless. Ah, uh, goddammit. I hate when he does this thing. Ah, did you see that masterful dodge? That was actually... Like, no joke, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually quite proud of myself for that one. I'm usually not very proud of myself. I don't like to get cocky, but that was a good, that was a good dodge. <laughs> that was like a pretty damn perfect dodge. I say is I immediately get hit like an idiot. It's fine, though. Um, there must be balance to the world. For every time that I do well, I have to do, e I have to do incredibly horrible. There we go. There it is. I got to the second phase, though, technically. Uh, I didn't actually start it, but I got to it. So, we're making progress, guys. We're making progress. Alright, devil. You're going down. It ain't time for you. I don't know how I was dodging him perfectly before, and then I just fucked that one up so easily. Oops. Well, this is, this is bad. This is a bad run. I'm not gonna beat him this time, guys. This is a very bad run. See? See, this is what happens when I get cocky. <laughs> You know? This is what I get for being confident for once. I should never be confident in my skills. Because I will immediately pay for it. By being humiliated. Will you stop being a spider? Spiders are gross, man. Goats are okay. Goats are nice. Goats are nice creatures. Don't take on the aspect of a goat. That's disrespectful to goats. Alright, whatever. Oh boy, I'm starting to wind down. That's alright though, because we're fighting the final boss, so hopefully hopefully this will be the end. This is the end of the series, guys, holy shit. This has not... I, I'd like to say this has been a long and arduous ride, but I think, I, I think I've think i blasted through this game way faster than I expected to. Like, I know. <laughs> literally as I'm saying this, I'm taking tons of damage like a fucking idiot. It's possible this, this one fight is going to take me the same time as the entire series. <laughs> the entire length of the series. Um, it's easily possible. I really hope it's not the case, but I could totally see it being the case. Okay, good. He's putting his head back on. And we can actually fight him again. I hate how hard he is to damage during that spider attack. 
Um, because honestly, during during his other attack, you can just jump below him. Damn it! That's fine. That's fine. We're doing all right. Have at ye, devil! Be gone, Satan! Oops. All right. Well, that was just dumb. That was dumb too. I should have. I should never have stopped looking at the screen. I say as I'm still not looking at the screen. I can do this almost like second nature, um, just because I know uh, how to deal with his worst attack. Um, I spent a long time fighting this boss, uh, figuring out mainly just figuring out how to deal with his first phase because um, that part where he um, does those hands that he spreads out as the goat right there. That attack, I could. It took me a really long time to figure out how to dodge, because I I, I thought for the longest time that like the timing with which he does it, and uh, the fact that it takes the entire bottom of the stage and the amount of time he holds it there just makes it damn near impossible to jump over. Um, I eventually figured, and if you if you dodged off to the side, then you would still land on it when it was on the way out. So for the longest time, I thought that it was damn near impossible to dodge, and you had to be practically perfect. Um, but I figured out. You still have to be pretty. You still have to be pretty close to perfect, but um, I figured out that it's a lot easier if you go off to one side and then dodge towards the center, which makes sense. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out, because honestly, it's just like that's common sense. You know, you want to move. You want to. You want to be landing in the part of the screen where the attack is. Um. So honestly, I don't know why that took me so much time to figure out. Um. It's kind of like the uh, the cherry bombs in the mouse fight. Um, like, they're easier to dodge, um, if you jump towards where they're coming from. You broke our deal. Now it's my turn to break you. I don't know why I'm making him, uh, Southern. I feel like the devil in, like, 1920s cartoons probably had, like, a Southern accent. Shit. God damn it, his minions got right there when I least needed them to be there. <laughs> Literally the worst time they could be there. It's okay though, because in my opinion, the the first phase of this attack is actually or the first phase of this battle is actually the hardest one. If I can get to the second phase, I think I've got a pretty decent shot at winning. Um, it's just his his attacks in the first phase are incredibly hard to dodge. Um, if you know the pattern, they aren't the worst thing in the world. But uh, he is literally Lucifer, so. Oh, he's going for his thing. He goes to the center of the stage, then you have to go down there. Alright, so. Second phase. If I remember correctly, this is the easier one by comparison. Um, I don't remember how to beat him, so I'm probably going to lose on the first shot anyway. But I'm going to try. Nonetheless, I'm going to try. Damn it, his the panel was slightly higher, so I landed on the outside. Anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. I keep changing his voice every time. It's fine. He's the devil. He takes on many forms. Okay, there we go. Um, he takes on the form of a goat, uh, which is indicative of a lot of um, old imagery of the devil as a goat, uh, because of the horns. He takes on the image of a dragon, specifically a Chinese dragon, um, which I find particularly cool. Um, I don't know if that has any founding in any particular myth, but um, it looks cool, so hey, sure. He takes on a spider, which I don't think has any founding in any sort of myth. I believe it's just because he's a fucking asshole. And spiders suck. Most spiders, anyway. God damn it. Those fucking minions have done more damage to me than he has. I don't know what it is, man. I just can't deal with those minions. I'm just ha <laughs> having a lot of trouble with those minions today. I know they're there. But for some reason, I just keep fucking up. Let's go. So, okay, so this phase, um, if I parry the bombs, why am I not shooting? I don't know why I started shoot. Stop shooting. I was holding the shooting button. Okay, those axes are going to be a fucking nuisance. I can already see that coming. I can already see those axes being a problem. The way it spins is just awkward. Oh, I hate when you start with this attack. Is one of the worst ones to deal with. Really wish I could get a cool parry in here or there, but I'm not risking it, honestly, with that attack. 
honestly, I think maybe we'll just make this episode a really long episode, um, and just have me play until I until I beat the boss. It could take me like an hour, um, so this might end up being like an hour long episode. But I think I'm I'm probably just gonna take this one and just make it the entire episode, you know, um, which you know, it'll be a nice a nice long running finale. Um, holy shit, I hate these things. Alright, cool. I was able to dodge them. I'm already down to one health, though. That's not good. He's coming from the left. Or right, I mean. Luckily, he comes into the screen long enough that if you're standing in the middle, you have enough time to, uh, figure out where he's going and dodge him. Uh, there goes his skeleton. I don't know why his skeleton jumped out of his body, but, uh, now he's the devil. I mean, he was already the devil, but now he's, like, the worst devil. Alright, I don't like how that thing spirals out like that. It's very annoying. Okay, so we have to keep an eye. That bomb exploded sooner than I thought it was going to. I was going to go parry it, and then it did that. Okay, alright, here we go. Um, honestly, if the timer does not go off by the time this attempt ends, um, I'm going to... Oh, God damn it! really? I'm just going to restart. I'm going to start... I'm going to shut the timer off, um, because I want this episode to just be the whole fight. Um, so here we go. Let's see if we can do it all in this one run. This is the end of the series. This is the finale episode. It could end up being an hour long. You can see how long this fight takes me based on how long the video is. Um, goddamn. The spider thing I don't like, um, because while it is easy to dodge, I don't get any good hits in on him during the time. Because it's, you know, it's not very, you know, if I try to go for the hits, then I don't get the dodge, which just sucks. You know, and dodging is more important, but, uh, it's just really frustrating to deal with. I think if I can get to that second phase, um, with full three hearts, um, I'll actually be golden. Like, I think I'll just, I'll just be, I won by that point, you know? Um, because I think I can tank a couple hits during that second phase, just not as many as he's able to dish out when I have one health. Um, alright, he's going second phase, um, and I've got my ult, so I'm gonna actually open up the second phase with the ult and see if I can do a- see if I can do a win. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna win, but I mean, like, see if I can- see if I can, uh, survive long enough to actually get a nice hit in. I think these bombs I need to parry right as right as they spawn because they seem to explode pretty damn quickly. Um, that's the axe. I don't like that. Do not like that axe. Keep that axe away from my ass. I'm gonna parry the bomb the second it comes out, just in case. Uh, he's getting frustrated. He's getting real frustrated. Oh god damn it! He's spawning shit. I think I think with this one I have to. Never mind. I was gonna say kill one of these guys um, quickly so that I have somewhere to dodge, but I was wrong. Um, I think I'm gonna actually, I think my new strat is going to be save the ult for that phase, specifically. Um, save the ult for when he brings out his minion there, his big minions. Um, because they seem to be the largest problem, um, in my way at that point. You know what I mean? Um, they seem to be the, the, the issue that I'm dealing with the most. Um, I don't know why I got hit by that, to be honest. I, like I said, that one's supposed to be easy to dodge. I don't know why I, I don't know why I got hit by it so quick. But, whatever. Um... Yeah, I think those minions are going to be the largest problem, uh, because they're, they're, first of all, they're taking up, like, two-thirds of the screen, which means it's very hard to dodge anywhere with them on the screen. So if I can get rid of one of them, I'll at least have half the screen to use, um, then, uh, and also I'll deal, I can deal damage to both them and him at the same time, which makes it a good idea to focus on them during that section, or to save my ult to that section, so that I can kill, I can deal more damage to both. Um, I think that's going to be my strat. Just take out one of those. I don't know why I just let that hit me, to be honest. I'm just gonna restart. This has been a bad run, though, so, so far. So, God damn it. Okay. Alright. Cool, that was a good start. Okay. Let's focus on dodging now. If I just keep walking back and forth, I should be alright. Alright, he's back. Back to his seat. Damn it, that that minion was just in that one space that I needed, you know? 
Like, that was pretty much impossible to dodge, just because it was really unfortunately timed. You know, like, I, I couldn't go anywhere, because the minion just coincidentally was in the one space I needed him not to be. That just really sucks, man. Honestly, when you get screwed by luck like that, that's just the worst. You know? Um, it's really unsatisfying. Alright, he's going second phase. Um, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saving the ult this time. I'm gonna parry the bombs the second they come out. That seems to be the strat with those things. I'm gonna stay on one of these side panels. Um, because when he does the axe, it's hard to predict where it's gonna go, um, if you're close to it. So I'm gonna stay on one of these side panels, um, and go for the bomb when it comes out. Shit! Alright, cool. I managed to get it before it came out. That's good. I thought I was gonna fuck up there. Axe again. That's fine. He wants to ask me a question. Ha ha ha, very funny joke. So, so fucking cliche. It's alright, we're doing okay. We're, I mean, not great, but okay. Um, I really wish you'd stop doing the fucking axe. But, uh... Oh, it's a bomb. It's a bomb. Okay, good, we got the bomb. Okay, he's, he's bringing out his next thing. Okay, so, first thing I want to do, jump to one side, and I'm going to ult both him and one of the minions. Um, I don't know what those things coming from above are, but I don't want to find out. Okay, they spin. Good to know. They're easy to jump over for the most part. I just have to... Oh, God! I didn't know I was that close. This actually... I might do this. <laughs> I thought... I thought... I thought I had more to go than that, to be honest. I was actually much better than I thought I was doing. Okay. This one seems to be if I just calmly walk back and forth. Okay, that one I had to dodge. Usually I can just calmly walk back and forth and deal with that one. Alright. Cool. I got my strat for that. Uh, and I got clapped by BAP? I don't know, man. Fucking, I can't think right now. Don't ask me to make alliterations or rhymes. I know you didn't, but in my head you did, okay? And clearly everyone should be held responsible for, for what other people imagine them doing. I mean, if I dream about uh, someone hitting me, then clearly they're, they're in the wrong. God damn it. Allow me to play devil's advocate here, but, uh... <laughs> no pun intended. <clears throat> pun totally intended, you could tell. That was a, that was a fucking blatant lie. <coughs> I absolutely intended that pun. Also, he was about to go second phase there, because he... The, the ending thing there showed that he was, uh... Showed his, uh, win animation for second phase. <laughs> he was about to go second phase there. Oh god. He... It counted for where I was moving that time. That sucked. For me. That was actually very smart for him. Sorry, we're going for the quiet try this time. I apologize, I know it's not as entertaining to watch. Um, but it's easier, and it means I might actually get through this. So hey. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is the finale. Now, this is definitely the finale. What I should say is I'm hoping that this finale is not six hours long. <laughs> because uh, this is going to be the finale one way or another. I just really don't want to deal with it being way too long. Alright, he's going second phase. That's good. We're going down. Mom. Damn it. I don't... I panicked, okay? Ah! Mmm! Don't! What is it good for? That was a terrible joke, but to be honest, that's, that's the best I got right now, guys. You're gonna have to deal with me. You're gonna have to deal with my shitty jokes. Why the fuck did I let that hit me? I was perfectly spaced to dodge that. And I just didn't. I just let it hit me. God damn it. I honestly have no idea what I was thinking there. But the devil has too much health. Damn it. Ha! Back down to one health again.
Okay, that's good. We're going, we're doing good. All right, second phase, second phase. Let's push him to third, and then hit him with an ult. That's what we gotta do. We just gotta not fuck up the bombs or deal or get hit by an axe. I know that's easier said than done. Much easier. All right. <laughs> it's okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> doing good. Taking anger management courses. <laughs> No, I'm actually not. I'm I'm fine. In case anyone's actually worried, I'm not taking any anger management courses. I don't really need them. Most of um, most of my anger here is intentionally let out for the sake of. Like I'm not like I'm not faking the anger by any means. I am mad, but uh, the smile on my face is also not fake because this game's really fun, and I am an entertainment masochist. I like to be punished when it comes to games. I like hard stuff. So, as much as I am legitimately mad at this right now, I am also legitimately having fun. So, we're doing well. Um, and while I am, while my anger is not fake, um, I am a little bit exaggerating. You know. Oh, it's a lot more fun to let it out be wild and ridiculous and mad than it is to, uh... That thing comes out fast, which means if I don't time the jump to hit it perfectly, I have to deal with it. Um, which is not ideal. There we go. Yep. Okay, so, so I, if I time the jump perfectly there, then I'm doing well. That was a fucking idiot, idiot-ass mistake, and I don't know why I made it. I really gotta stop doing shit like that. Now that, that was a well time to dodge. All right, that was not so well timed. I could have parried that, but to be honest, not too interested in parrying that right now. I have bigger concerns. I got trapped in a corner that time. Really got cornered. I almost pushed him through to his last phase. I was this close. I have a strong feeling though that his last phase is gonna be the thing that takes me the longest time. Strong feeling I ain't beaten that last phase on the first try. He is the last boss after all. If he was if he was very easy, I would not be I would be a little disappointed. Damn you, you stupid fucking goat man. No! Stop! Stop doing things. Stop moving and let me shoot you. You're supposed to die. That's how this is supposed to go. Alright, I just walked right into his face that time. We're restarting. That was bad. That was stupid. It was dumb. It was a bad start. I think that, um, parrying those bombs is probably going to give me enough ult charge to justify using my ult in the first phase. So honestly, I'm just gonna, from now on, I'm gonna use my ult as soon as I get it. Um, and then, if I get an ult during the second phase, then I'll save it for the third phase. Um, to get rid of one of those assholes in the corner. But if I can shorten the first phase, because the first phase is actually fairly challenging. If I can shorten the first phase, that might actually be a good thing. So that's what we're gonna try this time. What the fuck happened there? He literally hit me with his first attack. I thought I pressed dodge to the right, but I guess I didn't. Because I dodged to the left. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to change shots there. Damn it! I tried to turn around to shoot that asshole who was running away. And uh, I really shouldn't have because I got hit because I tried. Honestly, I'm down to one health already. We're restarting. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, satellite, radio, y'all getting hit with the boom, boom. God damn it, you stupid fucking bitch. I'm going to kill you with the boom, boom. You are the literal devil. I know that's the point, but you really are the literal devil. Fuck you. Satan! Be gone! Be gone from this game, Satan! Return to hell. Wait, we are in hell. Damn it. Leave hell. 
I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm not doing well. <laughs> Mentally, emotionally, physically, or in this game. But mostly in this game. God damn it. He's going towards the direction the other guy is. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. I can just shoot the other guy. Not a big deal. I can take out his minions pretty easy. He has a lot of them, though. Will you stop being in the exact place that I'm trying to dodge to? That was a really close piece of shit move. And I don't like you. God damn it, of course one of them came from off screen right then. I know I should have seen it coming. I know they telegraph it on the side. You don't have to tell me that. I'm aware. I'm just bad, okay? I'm just bad. It's hard to pay attention to the background and where the guys are coming from while also dealing with him. And I know they alternate left and right. You don't have to pay attention to the background. But it's also hard to remember which direction the last one came from when you're just fucking dealing with this shit. Alright. Alright. We got this. This is it. This is gonna be the end of this. This is the last try. We're gonna win. We're gonna win on this try. This is it. This is for all the souls. All the money. All the marbles. There are the marbles. We got the marbles. The marbles are on screen. The marbles are fucking bitches. Fuck you, marbles. God damn it, marbles. You see my death, huh? Well, sucks to be you because... I've seen 30 of my deaths, therefore I am 30 times stronger. Clearly, that's how math works. Damn it! I don't know why I jumped the gun walking right, because I was afraid that the guy was going to come towards me, even though he hadn't even come out from behind the chair yet. So that was a stupid mistake. Okay, I just went for the parry that time, and I just didn't time it right. You think you're going to chop me to pieces, huh? You're probably right. Unfortunately for you, I have protagonist powers, and I can just keep fighting you until you die. And you're the devil, so you're going to die eventually. It just might take a while. I wonder if this game um, has a canonical explanation for why Cuphead keeps coming back from the dead. Um, probably not, to be honest. Maybe it's just because he's the, the devil's debtor. Uh, or maybe there's not a canonical explanation, and he's just fucking, you know. You know, getting screwed. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's fine. I'm, I'm just in one of those places. You know what I'm saying? I'm just in that place in my life where I can't really deal with fighting the devil right now. God damn it, of course his skeleton was there. And his other attack kept going, so I just got hit. He's doing the axe first. Great. Uh, Bomb I couldn't get to because the stupid fucking thing spawned in and attacked me. This is fine. This is okay. This is acceptable. This is not acceptable. This is bad. This is very real. Fuck you. Stop being things! You can tell my level of frustration when I start yelling vague, vague, vague threats. Vague requests. I guess that was more of a request than a threat. It was just an aggressive request. Was, I guess it was a demand. I guess demand is the word that I would use there. Um, okay, don't jump the gun on that one. You just gotta hold there and hope. wait till he moves. You don't wanna move too soon. Haha, your minions have bad timing. And thus, you will lose. Had you better minions, you would win. And also, the, the ability to try it over and over again forever. Then you'd probably win in that case, too. Because that's basically what I've got. I'm gonna go for the ult, even though I know that's probably a bad idea. Um, because this phase has been giving me more trouble recently, and those those bombs do give me a lot of parry fuel. So hopefully they keep doing that. All right, cool. We're safe here now. I say as immediately it becomes unsafe. He's only got two attacks in this first phase. He's got the 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 axe, which can be a little bit of a problem, and he's got the bomb, which can be a huge problem if I don't take it out quick. He changed his facial expression, which means he's going the next phase. So we're going to attack. 
and hope that that doesn't happen. But it did! <clears throat> ha! The fire that burns within is hotter than even the flames of hell. I would know because I'm there. Ha! God damn it! I sound like a and I sound like a Naruto filler episode. Pick. Be it gone. Thought. The devil is kind of a thought. I mean, look at him. He's not even wearing pants. That was a bad decision on my part. I should be focusing on making good decisions, rather than calling the devil a thought. Be gone, goat thought. It's a really weird thing to call. Really weird concept. Goat thought. Okay then. All right, devil. I got you in my sights. I don't think the bombs actually deal damage if they touch you. I could be entirely wrong about that, but I think they only deal damage if um, they... God damn it, that was a bad place to be. I managed to get out of it safely, but it was a bad start. I think that, um, yeah, the bombs don't deal damage if they touch you. They only deal damage when they explode, which, god damn, they are annoying when they explode. I'm really close to the third phase. So, yep, there it is, third phase. As soon as he brings his minions in, I'm going for them. There it is. Okay, his minion is down. At least one of them. Uh, when I was watching the speedrun online, that's how the guy dealt with him. He took one of the minions out, because he can deal with one of them. And they do kind of feed alt charge sometimes with their attacks. Um, but... Damn it, I got cornered. The stupid skull, and I chose to duck to deal with the skull. And then the thing came from above, which I wasn't expecting, and I shouldn't have ducked. But I didn't know that! I didn't know that ahead of time! <laughs> Frustration levels are reaching Tengu. Because I'm doing Tengu's voice now. I'm so frustrated. I feel like the more I get frustrated, the higher pitch my voice gets. And my bitch- my bitch. I just combined the word voice and bitch. And I don't know why. I mean, I understand why I was combining the word voice, because I was about to say the word voice. I don't know where the bitch part came from. Maybe just because I was really frustrated with this bitch. The fucking devil. Um, but, I don't know what I was gonna say. Something about- Oh yeah, I feel like my voice just gets higher when I, uh, get frustrated. You know, the more frustrated I get, the higher my voice gets. Um, you can really see that especially in, uh, the hell levels of, um, Cup- Uh, not Cuphead, this is Cuphead. And this is the hell level of Cuphead. I was going to say, especially in the, um, oh, I didn't know one was going to spawn here, damn it. I didn't see it. Anyway, um, you can especially see it in the hell levels of Meat Boy, because, um, you can see I'm, I'm getting really frustrated, and I start going, you stupid fucking bitch! And just getting really pissed off. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this, because now the bomb is going to explode before I have the chance to parry it. It did! I was right! Would you look at that! I was right. Fortunately, that didn't save my ass. Being right was not what I needed at that time. What I needed was to be wrong and to be safe, not right. Being safe is more important than being right. I wish I had been wrong. Keep shooting him in the eyes. Damn it. There's two of them and there's nothing I can do about it. There was nothing I could do about that. Because I didn't have my ult yet. Because I used my ult right at the beginning of the second phase. I almost had it back. If I parried that bomb, the one that damaged me, because I tried to stay away from it instead of parrying it. If I parried that bomb, I probably would have... I think I would have had enough charge. Um, but I didn't. So, that's where we're at. <laughs> Fuck you, Satan! I don't know why the, uh, the devil has several, like, names. Um, like, I know that the devil is more of a title than a name, right? Um, but what I don't know is why, like, I know, I also know that Lucifer is his name, 
because he was an angel. Um, we're talking more biblical references. <laughs> to be fair, this is the game to have biblical references, so... But anyway, um, yeah, so Lucifer was his name because he was an angel who then defied God and became the devil. But where does the word, where does the name Lucifer come from? Is that like a name he was given after he was kicked out of heaven? I don't know. Anyway, the devil's a piece of shit. And, uh, I'm about to shove that piece of shit right back up his own ass. I imagine that would be entirely uncomfortable. Especially if it's, like, been out of his ass for a while and it's a little crusty. God damn it, this is a discussion I should not be having right now. This is really gross, and also doesn't add anything to this, and also I need to focus. But to be honest, the reason why I'm having this discussion is because I am focused, and I, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying. Okay? So maybe, just maybe, talking about crusty shits is helping me. Alright? So you're, you're gonna have to put up with it. Bomb! Fuck off. I'm not gonna have enough alt charge when he goes third phase because, um... Because I've... I've... Uh, I used the alt right after parrying the first bomb. Um, yeah, so now he's third phase and I don't have anywhere near enough alt charge. Um, I think with this one, I want to avoid the skulls in the air so that I don't have to deal with the chips falling and killing me like that. But I guess we'll find out! Whoa! Ha! Why don't you suck my cock? Ha! I don't know what's up with that meme. That meme's really dumb, but also pretty funny. I'm jumping a lot because um, I think I... I might be entirely wrong about this, but I think I deal more damage to him when I'm closer with the shotgun shot. So I'm trying to do that. God damn it, I was firing off screen instead of damaging the devil because I knew the guy was coming and I thought I could kill him before he got to me, but he spawned and immediately hit me. So I didn't get to destroy him before he got to me. This one sucks. This attack really sucks for me. It's okay, I actually managed to dodge it that time. Which is a surprise, I really did not expect him, to be entirely honest. Ah, I jumped over you that time, you fool! You've activated my trap card! When someone decides to rap battle Eminem. Haha, you fool, you've activated my rap card. Sorry, that was a really bad joke. I'm just, I, I don't have the... I don't have the mental capacity right now for anything other than really shitty puns. <laughs> and, uh, pop culture references. Damn it! Alright, good, I still got all the attack in before he activated that. I really thought he was gonna go- uh, his head was gonna go off screen, and because of it I wasn't gonna get any damage in with that ult. But, it didn't, because he is slowed down by the ult. It means he still got hit by it. Damn it, I got panicked because that guy was walking across the stage, and I thought he was going to be in the section of the stage where I didn't need him to be. Um, which he, he kind of was, but he was a little bit farther. I probably could have been fine if I hadn't panicked about it. I have to I have to release and press the attack button back down again when the second phase starts, because, uh, because Cuphead's animation stops the attack from happening, and if I'm holding the attack button, it doesn't keep going. Fuck nuts. Bro, No, we're not gonna say that. Actually, it's actually pretty fucked up. <laughs> Frustration level has reached Siren. <laughs> we keep reaching new frustration level, guys. We're at an all-time high. <laughs> actually, no. Uh, Meat Boy is still the all-time high. Um, because nothing beats, uh, that one time when I started going on a rant about, uh, how hard the game was, and just started coming up with really ridiculous concepts. Nothing has beaten that yet, so. Um, we have not reached that point yet. We're getting there, though! Ha! Whoo! Mmm. Alright. Okay. Ah! I'm literally not looking at the screen right now. I I wasn't looking at the screen for a long time there, and I didn't get hit. Like that's literally how well I know this boss by this point. <laughs> you know, I don't even have to look at it. But at the same time, somehow I still manage to get hit by it, even when I am looking at it. 
God damn it, it's that stupid fire one. I always- I can never tell whether it's the fire one or the tracking shot one. Um, and I'm also not sure which, one, which of those two is worse, because they're both really shitty. Alright, one- one quiet try here. Never mind. Quiet tries ain't helping. Fuck it. Alright, one more quiet try. And this time, if I see those things start to spawn, I'm moving to the outside of the screen, and hoping it's not the only one that goes outward. And it's probably going to be, because fuck me! Right? <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm literally starting to feel lightheaded. From all of this screaming! From all of this frustration! Probably also the Red Bull is adding to that. Oh boy! If I pass out suddenly, on, on, on the show, be aware. That's why. I'm literally screaming so much that I'm not breathing. Fuck this level, guys. Fuck the devil, guys. Fuck his mama, guys. Fucking drama, guys. Holy shit. Suck my dick. I'm rhyming and I'm dying and I'm gonna lose, but this is... Alright, yeah, I finally lost it. I figured at one point I was either going to stop rhyming or get killed. One of the two. I had a strong feeling that this, that that uh, ability to do both was not going to last very long. <laughs> Alright, good, he's putting his head back on. Now I can take it off of him. I'm gonna go for the ult. He's probably going second phase soon. Hopefully this will push him over the edge. Yep, he's on second phase. And now hopefully I can get enough charge from those bombs. If I can do it perfectly, I can. I know. I know I can if I can do it perfectly. All right, hopefully I can get enough charge from those bombs that I will be able to deal with his next phase without a problem. Damn it. I walked right into that one. Damn it. I am such an idiot. Well, color me pink and parry me to death. <laughs> Fucking bitch. It comes out of nowhere. I think the reason why the guy was killing the boss, was killing one of those enemies first, is because of that. Their attacks come out of nowhere, and then are super hard to predict. Why he was he doing the slap attack? when the fires were still on the screen! He's not supposed to do that! <laughs> I'm dying, guys. Slowly and painfully, but I am dying nonetheless. Uh, I'm dying quickly in the game, but slowly in real life. Good, he put his head back on, so I can take it right off of him. I had to jump because of the stupid fucking minion, and then as a result of that, <laughs> this has become nothing but me whining! Ha! Huh? Oh god, I was, I'm surprised that I was able to kill that guy before he got to me. I literally didn't even know he was coming. Which way is he coming from? Coming from that side. I killed the guy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Meanwhile, I'm scraping my ass along the fucking floor. Oh boy! That was a really stupid Spongebob reference. This is the level of comedy I've reached. I was expecting the fire thing, so I parried as if there was going to be something to parry in the center. Also, I wasted this because he's invincible during this animation. Damn it! Why did I do that? What is wrong with me? Ah! <laughs> End me. I'm sure I won't have any problem, because he soon will be ending me. God knows he's done it several times in the past. He is a very, he's very reliable. If there's anything you can count on the devil doing, it's fucking ending me. Ending me in a long and painful fight, wherein he kills me at just the right time to ramp up my frustration further. I got this. I fucking got this. I almost have the ult. As soon as he brings one of those bitches out, I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. Let's hope he doesn't kill me with something that spawns immediately. I want to stay on this side of the screen now. Parry that. 
kill those things, dodge everything, be perfect, or just die. Those are my choices. Be perfect or die. Wallop. I'll shove a wall up your ass. Don't... Don't expect good commentary, guys. I know. Keep your expectations low for me. And you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm leaning back. Because my spine is starting to hurt. And I am in pain. Of course he does the one that would hit me. Why does he never do the other one? What the fuck? He always does what I don't want him to do! Why are you doing this, you fucking bitch? You've made me into Dracula! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. Deaths! 383! Today we are learning new numbers, my friends. We're moving on to numbers that shouldn't exist in the fucking alphabet. Because they're numbers and not letters. What the fuck is wrong with me right now? Ha! Bitch! Dodge! Lick! My ass. Ho! Thundercats. Ho! <laughs> the pain. It will never end. Why have you done this to me? Fuck you, past Blake. Why hath you? Forsaken me! Oh god! Why hath you sent me to deal with this? The devil! I do not deserve this! What have I done in my life to deserve this? Fuck! Stop being a spider! I can't hit you when you're a spider! Get your fucking clap hooves away from my ass. I do not want you to clap my ass. Nonetheless, I know you will several times. I honestly just accepted it that time. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> okay. Deep breath. Relax. Stop suffering. I need to breathe for a minute. I'm sorry. There's so much tension in my body right now. I just need to let it go. I could honestly pass out right now. Of course it's the fucking fire again. And not the balls. Show me your fucking balls, you little bitch. Your balls are mine. I think mean, at this point, the devil's just bent me over and is fucking my ass. It's the balls! The balls! That is what I wanted to see! End me! And also yourself. Like, seriously. Stop existing, please. Stop being a, an existent creature. Let me leave this place. End my suffering. By whatever means necessary. Death is not an escape. It is only a restart of the same pain. Mm, now you have my permission to die. That was a weird combination of Bane and Sean Connery, and I don't really know what I was doing there. God, could you imagine if Sean Connery played Bane? Like, honestly, just picture that. Just imagine that fucking movie. I honestly think that movie would get like 10 times more entertaining. Not necessarily better, but definitely more interesting to watch. Just fucking Christian Bale facing off with Sean Connery as Bane. I wasted this. Why did I do that? My mind was on Sean Connery, I'm sorry. I really should not be talking about Sean Connery. Sean Connery, you fucked me again. Damn it! At least that was a parryable thing. <laughs> a 
I can taste blood in my throat. It's the balls. Fuck you and your balls too. The recording preview is in surprisingly good condition. It's actually keeping up uh, pretty accurately with what's going on on the screen, which is nice. But it just means that I get to watch my own death in double fucking widescreen. Wonderful. Of course, it's the fire again. I'll fire you from your fucking job as the devil for being too good at it. You cause so much suffering. We literally don't know what to do with all of it. Yeah, it was the fire. I knew it was going to be the fire, so I moved outside. So, what really sucks about this boss, right? Let me explain this. In that starting part, the... He has... Okay, so, besides the things that he does with, with his head and everything, he has three attacks that are relatively similar. They're telegraphed in almost identical ways, where he spawns things in the center of the screen um, in a circle, like this. And so there's three attacks that he does that do that, right? There is the four fires that spin. There's the four balls um, that shoot outward. And there is um, the, the fire that tracks to you. The six fire that tracks to you. The six fire that tracks to you, it's pretty easy to tell what he's doing, as long as I'm paying attention because there's six of them, and I can see that six are spawning. So then I know that I need to move away from them. But with the four things, it's difficult for me to see whether it's going to be the fire or the balls, and there are much different strategies for each, right? Because with the fire, they're going to start spinning, which means if I'm anywhere near them at all, I'm going to be screwed. But with the balls, they always go outward, which means I want to be in the center of them. So basically, I, one of the two... There's there's a chance I I, ne I never know which one it is, and depending on whether it's depending on which of the two it is, I either have to be inside or outside of the circle, and I never have time to figure out which it is before he fucking does it. And honestly, it's just screwing me over. If there's anything here that I'm getting better at, it's restarting the game because I've done that so many fucking times. Huh. I can do it light and fast now. You want a speed run of restarting? Um, I can- now that's a speed run that I would be good at. I can win. God damn it. Actually, I'm curious. Can I go to the complete edge of the screen and not take damage? I'm gonna try that. Okay, I can. So actually, when it comes to dodging that attack, I should just straight up go to the edge of the screen. Unless I know that the enemy is coming from that direction. In which case, I should just die. Because honestly, that's my choice. So yeah. So that's the strat there. I mean, it's not- really much different from the strat I was using, but at least it's a little bit safer than trying to pinpoint the space where I am neither off screen nor getting hit by the attack. At least now I know that I can go completely to one side. Alright, I'm gonna try a quiet one here. Go in Zen.
That's all it took. All it took was one serious try. One serious punch. That's right. Who won? We're good. I don't know how to feel, man. I honestly, like... I expected this game to take me a lot longer. Um... I'm not really disappointed. I'm glad I got through it, but... You know, that was like... Like, I don't feel like it should be over, you know? I don't feel like I really completed it. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, shit. The brothers had triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. We shall accept your surrender, Neville, Cuphead laughed, but we're not done just yet. And with that, Cuphead and Bogman destroyed all of the soul contracts, releasing Inkwell Isle's residents from eternal servitude to the devil. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody, Cuphead said. The boys set off for home, and at top speed. Come on, last one there's a leaky cup, Mugman teased as they ran. Once home, the brothers gathered together. You're all free of the devil's debt, Cuphead announced. And that fiend won't bother us again, Mugman added. The Elder Kettle was literally brimming with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear it for- Wait, hang on, this is- This is everyone? Whatever. Let's hear it for Cuphead and Mugman! Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! As an all-day celebration began, the brothers promised to never wander into trouble again. And they didn't. Until the next time, of course. But that is another story. The end. This has been a good time, guys. Um, I'm not gonna make any stupid uh, jokes this time. Our sincere appreciation to the members of our team whose loyalty and creative endeavor made possible this production. Chad and Jared Moldenhauer. Good job, guys. Honestly, you guys, you guys made a really good game here. Um, I'm not even gonna make any dumb jokes about, uh, being mad at you. This is, a, this is a good game. I had a lot more fun with this than I did with, um, Super Meat Boy. And, as much as I love Super Meat Boy, um, I, I really, I really genuinely enjoyed this game. There's so much charm to it that it's, it's pretty much impossible to be mad at it. So, that was that. Show's over. Y'all can leave now. But, if you're gonna leave, might as well go check out some of our other videos. Um, we've got Dungeons and Douchebags, a great show, uh, it's kind of like Critical Role's dumb sister, uh, that doesn't know what the fuck is going on half the time. <laughs> it's the weirdest description I've ever given to that show. Um, we've got, like, um, if you haven't seen him before, check out my other Hyperspeed series, uh, because, uh, I think that, um, Super Meat Boy was a lot like this one, so if you liked this, you'll probably like that. Um, Dark Souls went a little differently. Um, it still has some really, really funny sections, but, uh, it's a lot more of my usual editing jokes and stupid humor. Um, rather than this wacky, over-the-top stuff. Um, I didn't get quite as energetic during that, uh, playthrough. Um, this one was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, check out anything else if you want to on our channel. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff up, um, and we're hyped, uh, when I'm recording this, um, Kingdom Hearts has just been released, and hopefully we'll be playing that this week um, on a stream, um, or sometime soon, at, the, at least. Um, so if you if you haven't seen that, our Kingdom Hearts playthroughs are great. Get caught up on that because we're going to be streaming that. Um, holy shit, guys! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. This has been fun. Stay interesting. Actually, um, I know I said stay interesting already, but I, I usually record the credits to these things. You know, I want to want to give some credit to the uh, creators of the game. I did find out something funny, though. Um, that when I press control, it speeds up the credits. <laughs> like a like a fast-forward button, which is a really nice little touch. Um, it's very reminiscent of uh, how it used to be when you'd fast-forward VHSs. Let me see if it... Does it speed up the film grain effects, too? It does! It speeds up the music, the film grain... That's a nice touch. It's a really pointless thing that, like... It didn't need to be there, right? But I'm glad it is! Yeah, so, um... I'm just gonna sit here and watch these credits. And probably keep babbling about nothing. A loving memory of Jason Doucette. 
I wonder if he, um, That's all there is. you know, isn't around anymore. There isn't anymore. Isn't made with Unity. A lot of great things are made with Unity. Um, it was great to see this. Finn! <laughs> the old ending scene. Old ending, ending uh, word that they used to use. All right, so that really is it. That really is the end. Um, so now, finally, I'll give my real outro. Thanks for watching, and stay interesting. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid the price.